Hey everyone, it's Caleb from thebookflipper.com and I'm really excited to share with you a brand new software that launched this week called eFlip. Now eFlip allows you to source books online, so for those of you that live out in the middle of nowhere and have trouble getting to thrift stores in your area, or if you're just sick of fighting the crowds at library sales, then online sourcing may be an interesting alternative for you. And the way this works is it's going to primarily take advantage of the pricing differential between merchant fulfilled sellers and sellers that sell FBA. So if you sell FBA, this could be a great opportunity for you. And what we're going to do with eFlip is we're actually going to buy books on Amazon and then resell them back on Amazon and profit the difference. So let me show you how that works. Uh, once you're logged into the software here, you'll see these filters. And the reason we have these filters set up is Amazon does not show us the exact FBA pricing points. And so in order to find these books, we have to kind of take our best guess and play around with the filters to give us the books that have the highest chance of being sold for a high value FBA. So the way you can do it is all these filters work with sliders. You can slide the sliders up and down and change the values. Or if you don't like some of the preset values, you can type those values in up top and uh, kind of get some fine tune searching if you want. In this case, we're gonna try and find books that are selling for less than $5 and Amazon, I'm, we're just going to go crazy to show you what the software can do. We're going to find books that Amazon's list price is $150 or higher. And this is going to give us a really good chance of finding textbooks, uh, which are going to be popular here come January. Now the new price filters, we're just going to put that at a smaller threshold, let's say $30. That's just going to allow us to make sure that we don't have books where the value is completely tanked out. With the number of offers, I'm not going to play around with that. You can do that on your own. And if you limit the number of offers, the fewer offers there are, the less chance there is of being any FBA offers. Sales rank, you can play around with that as well. We're going to keep this limited to books ranked less than 250,000. And then the publication date, we're going to raise that up. I only want books that have been published in the last three or four years here. That gives us a good chance of, of books where the edition, where a new edition isn't out yet. So once you set up your filters, go ahead and click search. The software will or query the database and basically return every book that meets those parameters. From there, you can actually sort by column. So we're going to look and find the most expensive books on Amazon. And as you can see here, here's a book right off the top, Microeconomics. Sounds like a textbook. Amazon's selling it for almost $300. We can pick it up for about $4 used. And all of these are going to be primarily for merchant fulfilled sellers. So you have to add $4 or $3.99 to factor in the shipping. So let's go ahead and walk you through a couple books and show you how the software works. If you click on the ISBN, it'll bring you to Amazon and bring up the actual FBA offers. So it'll save you a few steps there. You can see the cheapest book here is just under $10. Then you have a couple books priced roughly $20. And then it jumps up to $30. So a book like this, if you're willing to wait for a few sales to happen, which may, if it looks like a textbook, in the next couple weeks here, you could possibly price this at $29 or even $35 or up. In this case, because there are a few lower price books, let's, let's go back and see what else we could find. So the next book here, Macroeconomics. Again, it sounds like a textbook. If we pull up the prime pricing, we can see the first price is already at $25, which is great. From there, it goes up, and if we're willing to wait and be the third or fourth sale, we could get $35 out of this. So this is a potentially flippable book. If you come back here, you can actually click on the actual title, and that'll bring up all the offers. We can see if there's any good copies available. And as you can see, there are. So $379, there's a good copy available from a seller. 88% isn't the best feedback, but they have sold a lot of offers. Maybe a good opportunity to bring that into your inventory. So before we do that, we've done our filters. Now we want to analyze a little bit. And the way to do that is you can come back here and you can look up the sales history on Camel, Camel, Camel or on Keepa, whichever one you prefer. In this case, let's go look at the, the history on Camel. We're going to pull up the sales rank and I like to look at a six month window. What I'm going to see there is every one of these spikes is a sale. And you can see the worst this book has been ranked is just over half a million in the last six months. And more importantly, right around this August, early September time frame, you can see that the sales rank chart kind of pegged the top of the chart, and it actually reached a rank of 10,000 at its best point. What this means is when the, uh, it's most likely a textbook. In the fall semester, everybody's going back to classes, and the book experiences a very high period of being extremely um, in demand, and that means that the pricing is going to go up quite a bit. And if you wanted to, you could look at the price history as well and see if that matched. So we look at six month time frame. You can see you could have picked up the book for a dollar or two leading up to textbook season. And then Merchant Fulfilled, it got up to $13, which isn't huge, 
But often if the merchant fulfilled is up over $10, you could expect that the FBA price on this book could have been 30, 40, 50, or even higher. So in this case, because of the sales rank, and we see that it is most likely a textbook, it had a lot of demand, and it still has a fair amount of demand even in the off season, this is a great book to add to our inventory. So now that we've analyzed it, we wanna do a little bit of calculation to make sure it's not a really heavy book or make sure we have an idea of what it's gonna be for us. So again, it's gonna, the software will automatically pull in the book's weight and it takes the, the lowest purchase price and adds $3.99 to it. If we run back here, we're probably gonna purchase this one at $3.79 plus $4 shipping, which is gonna run a $7.78, so you can actually plug in your real numbers if you want. What the software then does is it gives you a, um, a range of profit margins. So if you wanna double your money, make 100% profit, you'd have to price this book right around $23, $24 in order to make $7.78 profit. If we looked at the prime pricing, we could be the very next sale and get that. So we could double our money if we're the next sale once this book shows up on our front door. So not a bad book at all. Realistically, I'd probably price this closer to 35. And if you're willing to wait to be the sixth sale, you could theoretically price this as high as $60. So if you can get $35 out of it, now instead of 100% profit, you're making 200% profit. So if you're willing to wait to be the third or fourth sale, you could probably make about $15 with this book. Not bad for just sitting at home making a few clicks. So that's a book I'd probably add to my inventory. Let's uh, poke around real quick and see if there's any other uh, books that would make sense to buy. So we'll go into this next one. Again, it sounds like a textbook, Essentials of Abnormal Psychology. So we'll click on the ISBN, bring up the prime pricing. So right away, the, the cheapest prime is $28, followed by almost 50, and from there it goes up. So again, I could, um, price this aggressively, try and be one of the very first sales and match this price at $49.95. And let's see what it's selling for Merchant Fulfilled. So again here we could pick it up Merchant Fulfilled from a couple different sellers. You may actually pick up a few copies of this book. And again these are very well respected sellers, Better World Books, Textbook Rush, and even Net Text Store. Um, and a lot of these sellers will usually have multiple copies available especially Net Text Store and Textbook Rush. So you could pick up the book for $269 plus $4 shipping and prime the differential there. If you could wait and be the second sale, you could get almost $50 for it. So again, before we just jump in and buy it, let's do a little bit of research. We'll pull up the Camel 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 charts, sales rank. We'll look at a six month window. And again, we can see the sales rank pegs near the top. Didn't get quite as high as the last book we looked at, but it, the, at, at its best, it got to about 27, 28,000. And again, that was in the August, September timeframe, which lets us know this is a very uh, popular textbook. And you can see it still has somewhat consistent demand even in the off season. So we could expect that come January, this chart will again peg the top of that range. So a book with high demand gives us a lot of chance to make a profit. And we'll go ahead and plug some calculations into this. So again, we're gonna pick it up for 269 plus $4. So it's going to run a 668. So we'll pop up the calculator. It's going to be pretty close based on its calculations. And again, if we can sell this for 50, it's off the bottom of the charts, which is a great sign. And we're going to probably more than triple or quadruple our money. So on a six, seven dollar investment, we're going to be looking to make 25 to 30 dollars of profit when all is said and done. And again, that's the nice part of having the calculator because it factors in your FBA fees and the weight of the book. So just like that, we found two books very easily that we could at least double or triple or in some cases quadruple or quintuple our money. And that's how this software works. So essentially you would just buy these books, ship them to your front door, and when they come in, you'd make sure that it's the right edition, make sure that the book matches, that it's in the condition you ordered. And when it is, you go ahead and send it back right into FBA and make sure you price it accordingly for textbook season and wait for those sales to roll in. So that's a quick demo of eFlip. Right now we've got a three day free trial. So if you wanna head on over to our website, eflip.thebookflipper.com, go ahead and sign up for a three, three day risk free trial. Try it out for yourself. You can reach out to me uh, on the contact form as well and I'd be happy to walk you through the software and make sure it's valuable for you. So come on over, give it a try and see if online sourcing could work for you. Thanks.